Jody. I'm here with Jennifer Adams. Hi. And Jennifer is an interior designer and an entrepreneur. Jennifer will be doing a takeover our, of our Costco Facebook page all day today. I'm so excited. It's going to be so much fun. Um, we're starting at 10. We're going to be doing one every hour on the hour, which is fabulous. Oliver is participating today too. <laughs> Whether we want him helping or not, he's going to be my decorating assistant. <laughs> Um, also, at the end of um, the, each live, we're going to be doing our giveaway. So thank you so much for all our Facebook fans for adding your comments there. So we'll be introducing that. We'll have a mattress. So we're giving away a brand new mattress. We're giving away pillows. We're giving away our Lux sheet sets. And we're giving away a lot of robes, which we'll see throughout the day today. Too. Yeah, that's fabulous. Really fun. But so before we get started on all the tips and tricks you're going to tell our Facebook fans, I want to just talk a little bit about you, Jennifer. I know... Um, like, tell us how long you've been in interior design. Oh, you know, I've been a designer for about 17 years. But I'll tell you, I really started from the ground up. Um, my sister and I cleaned houses to earn money during high school. So I was making people's beds long before I even had a bedding company or an interior design company. So it's been, it's been um, a really great journey. That's wonderful. So tell our Facebook fans, what are we going to talk about in this segment? So this segment, we're going to talk about accessorizing your shelves. We're going to talk about coffee tables, end tables, a little bit of kitchen tip, actually a tip that I got from Martha Stewart herself. And then we're also going to learn how to style nightstands. There are going to be super simple tips you can do with found objects you already have around your house, or if you want to learn to buy a few things, that might inspire you as well. <laughs> so well, let's just get started. Yeah, let's get started. So, because we're going to have lots of time to talk throughout the day. We'll start right here at this coffee table. So as you can see, I've got two coffee tables instead of one, just because I wanted them to act like an accessory piece and split it up and make it more interesting. But I like things simple, and I love to use plants in decor. So I've got one simple plant on one side of the coffee table. So if you have just one big coffee table or even a square coffee table, just have one side with a simple object and then to weight it over here, I'm obsessed with crystals. <laughs> so you're gonna see a lot of crystals and a lot of rocks today. I just put one of my very favorite objects here. The most important thing when accessorizing your house is pick things that you truly love, that bring you joy. If not, don't have them in the house at all. If you'll notice here with this crystal, if it were just, it's kind of heavy, sitting right on the coffee table, it's not quite but it's interesting and it almost looks like something else needs to be here. And so that's why I put the book to add contrast. And if you take a crystal on a plexiglass or a piece of glass, you can absolutely do it, but you'll notice when you put a texture on top of the same type of texture, it doesn't really do anything for it. It's not very interesting. But watch again what happens when you put it on a book or an alternate type of material. It just comes to life. Now, if you don't want things quite as simple as I have them here, you can layer the accents on your coffee table. So, for example, the way you would do that is group things with different sizes and different shapes. So, with this plant, here's my little storage container right okay. underneath the coffee table, um, you would have group them together so you don't have just loose objects all around. Tuck them in closely. And then I have another object down here in candle. So if you group that in a pairing of three, that's interesting and it works. Let's go to an end table. So over here, I've got an end table that has three objects on it. Now typically, I wouldn't even put anything on this end table. And it's still completely fine because when you have end tables in your home, they should be used. They don't need to be cluttered or overthought. You could do something just simple, like a pile of coasters, because you'll use those frequently. And that's beautiful. And have a contrasting element. So if you have a wood end table, don't necessarily have a wood coaster there. So if you want to layer it, you can also just do a candle. But remember, things are more interesting in sets of three. So this plant works. And why this works well together is you notice there's white and there's white. And they're similar whites, and they tie together nicely. So let's move on up to the shelves. Jody, can I use your help yes, again? Yes, you can. <laughs> and we've got Brie over here. She's one of our designers from our team. She's gonna help with these. Again, the minimalist that I am and the rock lover that I am, I've got another rock. Surprise, surprise. And you can have it just like this. With shelves, you don't need to have a lot of clutter. You don't have to load them up. 
So you can have one simple object, and that can be interesting. And that's what I love. But if you want to add a few more pieces to the look, I'm going to take this now. I'm going to be on the Okay. And we're going to load this up. And I'm going to show you some tricks on how to do that. I'm going to turn around. We're going to take five objects. So when you have a shelf that you're accessorizing, take everything off. That way you make sure everything you put back up there is on purpose and that you like the object. So I'm going to start with this big object and then layer in the smaller ones around it. Thank you. Crystal here and a vase. So we're starting with these three. So because we're doing five, you want to do three and then add the two next. But you always start with the largest object. Again, vary the shapes and the sizes. And I've got two more things I'm going to layer in here. And then I go from that large side, put a picture frame here to cascade down the height. And then I'm going to layer this one right in front of it. So you see how you've weaved the objects in and out, varied shapes, varied sizes. Now let's go check out a mask skip. Oh, that looks great. I love Oh, you like that? it? Yeah, oh, actually, I forgot I have one more tip for you. Yes, right yes, here. I do. Yeah, I yeah. forgot. Yeah, we're, we're not done. done. <laughs> right, right, right. All right, one last peek at this shelf, and I'm going to take it down. All right. So some would say that this was actually prettier probably than the one object. So you can really go either direction. So now I'm going to show you the difference of two objects. And then I'm going to show you how it changes with one other object. The reason I'm telling you what I'm about to do is just to kill time, because it takes a little bit of time to bring the next accessories up and prop them. <laughs> we don't have the power of TV where we're editing and just fast forwarding the video. So if we have two objects, that works. But watch what happens when you add a third element. The whole thing just changes shape and is a little bit more interesting. There'll be times where you might have two objects that you love, so you have to use them. For example, I have another shelf that has an agate that's split in two, and I love it, so I just have the two there. So there are exceptions to every rule. These are just a few tips that will help when you're accessorizing, just to make it a little bit easier. So come on, let's go into the bedroom. All right. This is my master bedroom. <laughs> We're going to truly take you to every intimate space in my entire home. So there might be a few things you see along the way that I wish you didn't see. But So we're going to talk about nightstands. This actually is the mattress that we're giving away today. It's our new oh, mattress. Is it cozy? This is so cozy. Oh, it's got four layers of premium memory foam and it's airflow. So it's open cell for great airflow and it's really good. The boys actually think it's their bed. So this isn't the exact mattress we're giving away. We'll give you a brand new one, so don't worry about that. <laughs> That'd be a little scary if you see the dogs jumping right, up and down. Exactly. So nightstand. Do you have accessories on your nightstand? I do, but I would love to hear more because I think I have too much stuff on there. But I did hear you're supposed to do in threes, like you were talking about mm -hmm. earlier. And I have like a picture frame, a candle, and this thing my son made me. So I like <laughs> that. So what did he make you? He made me like a funny turtle. He loves turtles, so. Cute. So the one thing to think about, if you have a fun object from your kid or even kid photos, right. is it gonna keep you thinking about them or feeling guilty that you should be spending time with them or less romantic in the bedroom even when right. you have kid photos? So something to think about. And less is more definitely on the nightstand. So I like that you just have three things and things that you use and that you love. Okay, so when you're decorating your nightstand, Less is more. I've got a lamp here that I like. You may not like it, so I have another switch out. It's just one that I found a long time ago and I still like it. So what I did, because it's really aggressively tall, is I put some books underneath the plant and because ferns are actually really good to have by your bedside, they clean the air and they really help you breathe better and some say it helps you sleep better. And I don't like a lot of clutter, but I wanted to add height. So when I use these books, a little trick to make them look a little more uniform is turn the jackets inside out and then suddenly you have a white book. So you can use almost any book you have to add height. This is great. I've never thought of that. Yeah. Part. That's a great idea. I learned it because I bought prop books once for a TV show I was on to film. And when I opened up the covers, I realized they just bought books at the library, <laughs> like really cheap books, and resold them to me because they flipped the covers. Oh, wow. Um, crystals, as I said, I'm obsessed with rocks and crystals. 
they're known to actually not help with sleep. So I'm using this here because I love it, but if you're really concerned with tranquil sleep, which you should be, you may not want a crystal. But I, I like candle because I like the ambiance that it gives and the mood setting. I'm gonna switch out one thing. I'm gonna show you how the nightstand changes pretty dramatically just by changing out this lamp to something that's a little bit more clean line. Oh, thank you. And it's a glass lamp. Now this glass lamp, I think is so pretty and it didn't cost a lot but it's not the right scale for the bedroom. So to add height, I've got two other books, and I'll put these with the spine side out. And there you go with this. Now because we've got the books here, we don't need the books for the plant. So move that and put that here, and the three objects take on a different look altogether. It's just a little bit more modern. Yeah, that looks great too. Oh, good. Boys, do you like it? <laughs> All of our approves. One last tip that I'm gonna show you in the kitchen before we do the giveaway okay. announcement. Perfect. All right, Great. we're gonna traipse back through the other side of the house again, and follow me on here. I'm sure the boys will follow as well. Probably, because they've been our buddies. Do you have dogs? Yes, I have actually a new puppy that I just got. Oh, wow. An English Springer Spaniel named Louie. Yeah, oh, how fun. Louie's probably the greatest. And you guys, I'm sure a lot of you can relate with your puppies and your dogs at home, and they're a big part of the family. So, okay, so we're just going to sneak here in the kitchen. And I'm not going to take you too far in, but I want to share a tip with you on accessorizing your shelves in the kitchen. This is one I actually learned when I was filming on the set of Martha Stewart show, because I was interviewing her, and her prop team taught me this, and I've never forgotten it. When you're styling your kitchen counters, do not put all the things right up against the wall. That's the natural tendency, even if it's a jar of spatulas or anything, pull things away from the wall and give it dimension. Give it breathing room, just like you would with your furniture, and look at how much more interesting that is. So just a simple tip to implement when you're decorating your kitchen. Okay, now for the giveaways, I'm so excited. Jody's way ahead of me, she's got the list over here. So, and Bree's helping too. All right, so we've got the winner list. Yes. The first group is gonna win our brand new Lux Sheet Sets that are actually sold in Costco at special events. And we're, sell we're giving away the queen size for the first group of winners. How many winners? So we have five winners. And thank you so much for donating these. We really appreciate that. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna let Jennifer read the names. Again, we're gonna be coming back after every Facebook Live and we're gonna be announcing our winners. So we're gonna be doing that throughout the day. So make sure to come back and stay tuned for that. So here you go, Jennifer. Here are our five winners. Okay. Do we have a Jennifer Mixer? <laughs> Your winner number one. Lata Amiri. I hope I said that right. Your winner number two. Autumn Schultz, that's a pretty name. Oh, Oliver's crying down here because he's not getting included in the giveaways. Oh. Carla Buller Dick. And lastly, Becky Zambrana. Congratulations, girls, and thank you so much for signing up for the giveaway. We're going to be broadcasting again in about 45 minutes at yes. 11 a.m. Yep, so again, we're coming back every hour on the hour until 4 p.m. is our last Facebook Live. Yep. And so we're going to be doing different ones. So what's the next one we're going to be doing? We're going to be showing you how to make a bed like a hotel in a jiffy. It's so simple, and then we have more giveaways. See you soon. Thank you.